Hi, Lorraine Smith here. Let's learn how to create half square triangles two at a time. The first step is you have two different colored fabrics, um, which we have here. The next step you're going to take is you're going to figure out which one you're going to draw on because you only need to draw on one. I use a piece of sandpaper here that kind of holds the pieces still so they don't go anywhere. You'll take them some sort of a utensil. I use a white pencil um, just so these show up because this is a very dark fabric. You can use a ruler here to make the mark. It doesn't have to be really dark, um, just enough so you can see it. The other thing is you can use permanent marker if you want because you won't uh, be using, you won't be seeing that portion of the fabric. I would avoid using Sharpie though, only because it's so dark it could bleed through to things. Um, but this is just a white marking pencil that you would use in sewing. So we have marked our two pieces here. We're going to take our other two pieces here, place them face to face. With batiks, doesn't, there is technically a right side and a wrong side, but definitely with printed fabrics, this is, the writing would be on the back. You put them face to face, and then you move them over here to your sewing machine, and you're going to draw, you're going to sew a quarter of an inch seam on either side of the drawn line. I've got a neat little thing here that helps me determine what a quarter inch is. Turn it around and do the other side. Okay, now we're going to do the last step here, which is to pull out our handy dandy cutting board. And on that line we drew, we are going to cut this open. So you should have a seam on either side. You cut it open. And if all goes well, which it should, ta-da, you have a lovely half square triangle on each side. So you can trim off your dog ears, trim it to size, and you're ready to go. Enjoy. Happy quilting.